Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I assume it's Tuesday night. I'm in the past. <laughs> I'm floating in a void. You're in another country. I am. Justin Robert Young. I am. Bongiorno. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Are we just saying? Uh, good no, I'm going to be in Italy, so good. I was saying the Italian one. Uh, 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 ni hao. <laughs> Mush moshi. <laughs> Uh, hey, beautiful people. It's a bank episode because Just Robert Young is on the other side of the planet. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas, joined right here in studio, not only with the illustrious Justin Robert Young, but who else do we have here, sir? Oh, my God. Two of the most legendary guests in the history of all <laughs> incarnations of our show. Yeah. Friends, can I please welcome back to the program, Corey and Martin of Double Toasted. Huzzah! <laughs> Where's my camera? Yeah. Man, we, we, yeah. Yeah. this is where everybody yeah. points. Uh, so like, yes. all right, that's me. Uh, hot damn, we were reminiscing about good times. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, how we almost destroyed your whole business. <laughs> and insulting anyway. insulting some be, your sponsors. Some people yeah. would say you made the whole business in yeah. that moment. And then we almost destroyed ourselves. That's right. Uh, oh, yeah. That was yeah, good. You know, so, yeah uh, we were there for like really two good moments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, literally. This is the reason why we had to have, like, like, okay, there's going to be banked episodes, which is not ideal. But if we do know... Something that people will be excited about in any form. It's you guys being in studio with the two of well, us. It's just funny because uh, Martin and I argue all the time. Yeah. But you guys, every time we've been in, y'all have just been the best of friends. And it was really cool to see you actually hate each other. For <laughs> <laughs> well, what was, what was fun about it was that we were watching some old resentments that had never been resolved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> suddenly right. rise to the surface. And well, we just had to sit back and watch it. <laughs> well, and, and it was the beginning of the, I, I don't know if we've talked about it on the show, but like uh, yeah. of the, 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 the sprained ankle policy where it's like, hey, uh, because that's, that's what happens after years and years of like uh, of, of somebody twinging the other person and then the other person being like, ah, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, all that shit builds up to a full-blown story sports injury live uh -huh. on stage <laughs> yeah and then uh and so now it's like a policy where it's like hey everything's fine but twisted ankle just when you said this or you know, that stuff well it didn't help when i was standing behind you brian's like you gonna let him talk that shit <laughs> 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 are you you a bitch bro yeah. no, no this time i won't be going Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that was that was actually that was the moment that i knew it was real that it wasn't like a thing because it went from you guys just being like and, and specifically you Corey, like you're always stirring shit and then like as soon as you went from like like oh yeah, I just <laughs> I as soon as soon as Corey leans back, I'm like, oh shit, we're in a real fight. Like, this is, this is, that's what I was like. I was we're, like we're, we're, we're firing live rounds, and Corey's like, oh, I'm gonna let this one settle before I even make a joke. Yeah, I was the rocking it. Yeah. And I was leaning to him, saying, we can never let this happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we were like, like, like yeah. damn, at least we ain't dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh, so good to have you guys. Uh, DoubleToasted.com still rocking and rolling, right? No, nah, man, that's you, you didn't hear. Uh, oh, oh shit! What? 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 Oh, it's done, man. Wait, you what? Shut it down. Remember, this is gonna be a couple weeks in the future. So, <laughs> well, I just shut it down probably about like five minutes ago. I. I was looking at all the things you had done. I was like, man, I can't, I can't be him. Oh, you motherfucker! I was like, I can't. Oh, like, no, I like, no. I, can't. Yeah, I made, I made I'll the mistake. I'll never be him. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I, I, you bring I, him to this giant, multi-acred complex. What's funny is with several studios and a, and a new <laughs> giant uh, warehouse. Warehouse, built. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this fool's building. He's building Disney World. Yep. I uh, just okay yes uh, the, 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 the <laughs> or, reason or like I took you world, over was, was because wait, it was wait, still wait. daylight and yeah. I couldn't believe we had the opportunity yeah, you, and uh, I, oh yeah, that's the reason why. <laughs> to go, oh yeah, we got all this. Which, I'm sorry, what do you got again, Corey? No, oh, that's, no. that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, that's very nice. You yeah. love your little show. Yeah. <laughs> You're still doing that, right? <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> yeah, just put on the ears. Yeah. <laughs> you still doing your little show? Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, what is your elevator pitch for the uninitiated? What I mean, obviously you do movie reviews, but you guys, you guys have a, a, a whole different shit. spread. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good, man. Actually, we're, we're fine, man. We're actually doing better than we've ever done before. You know, shit. I just bought a new house, so I can't complain. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not your house. God damn, dude, don't you do this? Don't you do this? <laughs> no, man. But no, it's it's good, man. Uh, you know, so to tell people, just you know, to give them the elevator pitch, uh, double toasted, uh, humorous movie review and pop culture site and. We've been doing it for about five years now. Which camera am I looking at? Anyone on? Uh, that's uh, but, uh, we've been doing it five years now and uh, getting ready to 
take our stuff on the road. We've been on the road. You know, we've been to New York, Chicago, uh, about to go to Toronto. So, 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 so these are standalone live events, or you're showing up at conventions? Or no, what this, they're, like? yeah, no, 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 they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're taking their shit on the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, we're, wow. getting, we're getting venues. We're performing on stage. We're bringing yeah. people on. We got we got games that we play with them. And we do a, we, we do a whole big thing. A, it's a pretty big, much a comedy two, show. Two or three yeah. hour comedy show. Yeah. And then yeah. afterwards we have the after party where we drink with the audience. Well, yeah. okay, so, so how do you book all that stuff? Because we're just dipping a toe in the water in that in that space. Uh, you know what? It's I pro- I am not doing it the right way. My what? wife was just telling telling me you went in to take a shit or something, and she was telling me like <laughs> he is so like, almost like looking at me like what's wrong with you? She's like no. She's like he is oh so detail oriented. <laughs> oh my god. He's thought yeah. everything through. It's detail oriented. What everyone thinks of when they think of Brian Brushwood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that's what she thinks. I told you, you're crazy. Yeah, I know. I was gonna yeah. say you had to hear Bonnie laughing yeah. from downstairs. Yeah. 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 I'll come up to see Brian. Like I'm thinking, like I hadn't seen Brian in a long time, man. Uh, and I oh, and really, I'm, I always say this. Uh, I'm forever grateful to Brian. Probably wouldn't have any of what we have if you didn't call me up and tell me to like keep it going. And He'd you be in Turkey me? right now. Yeah, I'd be what? in Turkey right now. Probably be kidnapped somewhere. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, uh, you or realize with his mama in Waco. But what's fu- what's funny is what I I'd rather be kidnapped in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to go way back, uh, I owe uh, what I'm doing to the fact that I was a fan of The Real Deal on cable access, which means like the only reason that we are friends to this day is because of Alex Jones's ex-girlfriend she was the one who invited you down? She, yes. Uh, that th- was her? Th- th- uh, Violet? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 for she, she had something Going called... deep into Austin you mean ex, here, You mean friends. ex-wife now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The one yeah. who just divorced him and took his kids. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> see, I, I knew he was just... Uh, they were just boyfriend-girlfriend at the time. But uh, I, I assumed that they were still together. But yeah, she had a show called The PSA Show on Austin Cable Access. Mm-hmm. We were promoting the 1999 Texas Associations of Magicians thing. And uh, I was in the hallowed that halls. like not a real thing. It, 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 <laughs> it totally was. <laughs> Harry Anderson was performing that year. And uh, they said, hey, we, you know, we... we can get some publicity by going on cable access and so and so <laughs> and so and so and so we charlatanism we got booked i i got booked on 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 the psa show and i walked in and i was like oh this is where they do the real deal and i looked over and i was like oh it's Corey coleman yeah i was, <laughs> I was looking for like some teeth for a toy that i brought in that i lost yeah yeah, like, yeah. What, yeah. But, but but all of a sudden i recognized like oh my god that's the switchboard and and this is oh my we're standing in the place and all that and and i i walked over and i was like oh Oh hey, would you? I'm gonna eat some fire. Would you like to see the fire eating? Yeah. And and and, and, he, yeah, and he was like, and you looked at your watch, and you're like, uh, yeah, we can make that work. I didn't do that. No, no you didn't. Do, I did not do that. <laughs> but the, but but that was like, I was geeking out, like, oh my god, Corey Coleman's watching. Wait, me hold on. Wait, yeah, yeah, just two seconds. You can keep telling the story. I don't think I've ever seen uh, as many stories as I've heard of the real deal. I don't think I've ever seen footage. Is there footage? Is there footage like you on know YouTube? What? A, that a we lot can, of like, it is scrub, but you can find. Pieces of a, a couple of episodes on YouTube. No, there's a Halloween episode. Yeah, you, Halloween. Oh, you haven't seen. It. I Halloween haven't seen shit. Yeah, oh, that's never the seen fight any right there. Yeah, there's, there's a fake fight. Yeah, that's the that's the crazy one. Yeah, you should watch that. Play that. All real right quick. here. That's a fake fight that happened. That turned into something really weird. Oh my god. You're, you're the sun god. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Corey, you want me to get Bob? No, come on. No, that's okay. Nah. Get off. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you just guys sit down and, and after the show, we'll this. talk about it. What's going on here? No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Look, 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 look. No. It's like some no, pro hey, wrestling hey, stuff. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Superman, what are you doing? Get this piece of crap out of here. Move him out of the way. Just what the hell are you doing? That's Superman. Wait, well, no, no, give me that. Is this a fight over a no, Superman no, action no, figure? No, 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 let me let me ask you something. I don't I don't know what people are doing. Is this a, is this a joke or? Hell no, it ain't no joke. Hell Joe, no. Do you know these guys? Cause they just kind of barged in here. You know, <laughs> I talked to them at Opal's last week. That's about as much as I can say about it. You told them where this place was. I didn't tell them anything. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't tell them. Okay. Well, I told, told you. I told, told you. Could, I told you. you I don't know how long this is. Because I've yeah, seen yeah, the shorter yeah. version. If you want to just bump it up to like the fight part. Yeah. Well, okay, oh, we haven't shit. gotten to the oh, fight there, part. Oh, there, there you go. There we go. Yeah, get to move up. Move up. Move up. Move up a little long. A little. little. There, uh, right. About right there. Right there. Right there. You go. There you go. 
two hours back. What so these guys we took over the we 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 time we back. Give your opinion on the movie and get up. That's all I'm The movie absolutely sucked. Michelle, you might Don't go. I mean, just what? straight up. Mark, Wait, you, come, you, come you, Wait, no, I'm just saying, Mark, come help. Come no, help. No, I'm just not. I didn't ask. First of all, I didn't no, ask you to be here. Come on, man. And you no, in. but you but you asked me to go to a stupid show. I didn't ask you. Hey, Michelle asked you that. It's got your name on, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> hey, man, you got, you got, all you guys better calm down. No, no, you got it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 is that Chris looking right into the barrel of the camera? <laughs> that, I was like, those are friends of mine. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Then it, when it was done, I said, damn, I told y'all to act. Because <laughs> I didn't know they were going they to. Took, they took over. I didn't know they were going to come in and do that. And the, and the guy that pushed me is the guy I work with. That's a friend of mine. Oh, my God. And, he's, and I said, well, anybody was done, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, hey, man, you wanted to look real. <laughs> hey, it, it Isn't it real. called the real it, deal? It, it, <laughs> I fooled a lot of people. We we had two or three fake fights over the the course of the show, the ten years that we were. That on. was like that was like a move. You guys. Oh oh well, police we, we, actually showed showed up one time. We yeah. Wait, yeah. who did? The police. Oh geez, because I, I assume somebody watching would be like, "There's a fight. Yeah, this yeah. fight happening." And we had it one time where a guy, a friend of ours, but he played the program director of the station, came in with with goons to tell us that we had a violation and we had to shut the show down and we start arguing with them and they just start dismantling our set with us oh, arguing Jesus. and we cut to black like and it was an april fool's show and it cut where, where we ran out of time you out of time you out of time so we didn't have a chance to say april, april fool's, fool's. Yeah. Oh, but, but then no. here's the kicker the next week there was some kind of in-service thing so we couldn't come back on <gasps> so, so everybody really believed we got canceled and stopped watching so oh, the next no. next few months yeah, there are stuff. people not watching because they thought oh shit my favorite show got canceled actually they watched for the next few they, they watched for the next few months, it was about a week or two where people were like, oh shit, because they kept emailing me, are you gone? Are you done? Are you gone? No, like, I would run into people and say, man, I used to love your show, but after you guys got yanked off, I just, I, I stopped watching Access. It's, I was like, <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> it's, it's We've actually been hard. this whole time. Man, it's hard to believe those people because I had, I ran into somebody like about a year ago and like, Corey, and I was like, hey man, I'm like, man, I watch your show all the time. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you, uh, so you, you, uh, so you seen the show that uh, online, you're like, no, man, I, I, I watch your cable access, man. I was like, man, I haven't done that show in <laughs> ten years, man. Yeah, nobody, nobody remembers it. Like, all they remember is like, I know that guy. Uh, what's a nice thing to say? I love your yeah, stuff. Yeah, I watch yeah, it yeah, all the time. Yeah. And the police came in after that night, and I'll tell you about it. I'm not going to say who the friend is, but the police came in, uh, and I just hit in the studio because I was scared because uh, I didn't want to get you know my license taken away or whatnot. But the police even just he looked at us and he laughed. It, um, he almost gave a laugh like. <sighs> Damn, you dumbass access people, man. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> shit. But then again, uh, at that point, so uh, years later, I I meet this guy. We're hanging out. Uh, and then uh, he said, and, and then he was like, yeah, man, this happened with friends. I'm like, man, yeah, you know, I never told you, but I used to watch your show all the time. I said, yeah, you never told me that. And he's like, we've been friends for a long time. He's like, yeah. He's like, I remember one time uh, you did a show, and uh, he's like, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but... Uh, I'm the one that called the police, man. <laughs> he's, like, oh! he's like, he's like, I was home with my wife. We were high. We were so <laughs> <laughs> And I saw this fight going on and I called the police to say there's something going on down at Access. We didn't know. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> And that, yeah. that, 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 I, I think it was a regular thing because I ran into another friend. By the way, that might be the most Austin story I've ever heard in my yeah. entire life. It was a regular the thing with were access. Called because somebody was too high watching cable access. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That it's like, if only, if only, like, and then the cop car <laughs> ran into Mike Judge fucking across the street. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is very Austin, man. I'm doing a goddamn thing. If you want to, if you, if you go touring though. You, man, you got better pull than I do. Just what I would do, I just call a venue months earlier and ask. All right, uh, is your place available? And what, I say, what, yeah. What, what, what kind and of places you, are you playing? Brian, like you bars tour or all the time. venues? Well, or? Yeah, but that would, but when I was touring, it's it's always you know student activities board. It's always like there's some group of people who are always looking for an entertainer for their uh, show, right? Yeah. And so you find and out who those people pay are. up front. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, well, but but like this whole business of like showing up in a, in a city and saying like, hi, who here would like to give me money to see? I don't know whatever it is I plan to do. Uh, that uh, four walling events is. No, uh, I'm, I'm the one who. Books our live stuff. Like okay. Brian, oh. Brian is used to being told, 
I'm here. I'm going to a place. I'm doing a thing. So I I, I provide right. itineraries. So, uh, to my Brian. whole my whole experience with uh, 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 touring was basically treasure hunting. Like uh, uh, the phone rings, the hotline rings. I'm like, hello, and they're like, there's a thousand dollars buried in the Mojave Desert <laughs> at these coordinates. If you show up at this exact moment and perform a, a fire eating, you will receive it. Click, <laughs> and I'm like, cool. <laughs> So, uh, so it, like, I, I didn't have to do any of the promotion or okay. any of that stuff. Yeah. It's you know, been good for us. Our, our shows, have, all, all of them have sold out so far. Yeah. Dude, that's great. No, no, knock on wood. Yeah, you know, the thing is, if you, so the way it works now is that the venue, uh, if you go, because we've been doing, we, we did some ragged ass venues before. We started doing bars, and the bars were always, the, the, our people were cool, and then we would start with, like, about, you know, maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, 50, 60, 70 people at the bar, but they would watch, but there'd be a whole crowd of people because the bar never, they never gave us a spot to ourselves because they said, well, I don't know you guys, you know, you, you and your little, your, your little online show. Right. Uh, and so they would just open up a spot and then people, regular patrons would be behind them just talking over the show. Yeah. doing. So I said, we got to get on venue. The acoustics would be. Yeah. What, what, and and even then, even if the acoustics sounded okay in the recorded version of it, uh, the, uh, like, like being there in the moment, you the can't not. The energy shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, it takes oh, we, away we, we when talk people. talk to fans who say, yeah, I was here laughing, but I couldn't hear a thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Trying to, you know, you're competing. Right. You know, you got yeah. people there trying. That's not the way to treat your audience. So we, you know, I started calling up uh, just venues. And then, uh, some venues were small and they were cool. Uh, we had some with friends would recommend something say, I can get you the hook up and then the place would be interesting. Uh, but then recently we just started doing like just straight up professional venues. And those places, they pull some gangster shit, man. They pay, they, they got a happy tax. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah, they, they, you have to, so what they, what they do is they, uh, they charge for your merch. You know, they take up, they take some of your merch. Bullshit. They take, oh, they no, get a cut. Oh, yeah. But you, they also have to uh, the bar the, minimum. The the bar minimum, which is fine. That's a regular thing. Bar minimum. Also, um, they so they'll take care of the, the a lot of places take care of the ticketing for you. They you, they have to. They are they insist. You have no right. choice. So then they have their own. You charge like something that looks like a really good price, and then people get kind of pissed because they say that there's a they see there's a uh, like a, 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 a service yeah. charge. Which when we were doing on on Eventbrite, uh, Eventbrite, the charge was like one buck or two yeah. bucks. You know, this is like seventeen bucks. Yeah. So you, you know, you gotta let your your people know. But then again, the venues are so nice, man. So that's just the business, well, and, you know. We we got our very first taste of that when we did uh, during South by Southwest. Which again, uh, can we officially move not to compete against all of South by Southwest at our Austin events? I mean, sure, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, no, we could. I, I, a, I would just, I would love. I think we should just start another thing. We should just say like, sure. like we can always do a bar weekend in. But like, like if we're gonna South do a live by. show, like we got it, we got to yeah. Taste let's, let's, let's do another Austin live show at some point during the year, and then we can make that like okay. Well, at some point we do a live show. Can I ask in you a real quick question about yeah. that? Did it benefit you at all to do it at, during South by Southwest? No, no. Uh, financially, no. Um, uh, because we were competing with. Everyone at South by if there's one time that is very difficult to get anyone's attention and get them to commit to buying a ticket to come out to a thing when most of them have wristbands and they're doing everything for free and everybody's doing all these free parties and stuff, uh, it's during South by Southwest. We only started, it only became a tradition for us to do a South by Southwest episode because so many of our fans were in for South by Southwest Interactive. It's like, well, screw it. We'll just do a party at a bar. And so, uh, but but this was the first time it's like, well, let's do it at a ticketed event and bring in some of our friends oh. and do a conversation comedy and music festival yeah. and so we, we did it at the north door uh, which is right across the street from their old studio right, yeah. right. They, yeah. they're very good people by the way north door yeah did you work with butch yeah. uh yes butch is a nice guy butch was a good guy he's a real good guy he's a good friend yeah. right on what, so, but but the mere <laughs> fact that we were able to nearly sell out the place uh, i guess there was 150 seats we got close to 150 people there sure. but uh that alone was a success uh we didn't make any money because uh by the time we paid for the venue and for everything else mm -hmm. you know whatever but i think that in a softer weekend or or a more civilized night i think we could we could crush it because I, I would yeah. totally come out to one of your shows and i've been to some of your south by southwest shows but it's always well i got 45 minutes to be here because yep. i got all these other things i'm trying to do at the and, same and, time and, and that's the way it is with every Everybody else as well. Uh, so the, the the hope is. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, I got an no, audio. We're trying to, audio I listeners. I wasn't trying to we're negotiating. Us. We're we're having a very <laughs> Austin podcast <laughs> moment. <laughs> uh, I, that was on me. I should have brought that. Bottle up. openers uh, are flying everywhere. Hey, listen, man. You got your business going on, so there's no way I'm even trying to tell you how to do that. No. Nope. But I would say, I because I, I I will say that I've gone through a similar experience on that end and. Uh, South by Southwest, I do not think it's anything to try to compete with because everybody's distracted. Do it on the night when you, you're the 
You're the sin of attention. No, so we, we should do another show at some point this year. We'll do a big Austin show at the North and, Door, and, 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 and we'll we can have, have Corey but, Martin, and it'll be a fun. Dude, you guys, if you want to do it on South, yeah. South by Southwest, I would think Sunday would be good. A lot of people are gone. The people who are here. There's not so much happening, and they're if they're still around, they want. I mean, something really, to the, do. the only reason why we did it is just because we've had at this point six years sure. of our fans yeah. like making it a part of their like yearly travel plan mm-hmm. to be there on an afternoon show Saturday night or Saturday afternoon for interactive weekend. Yeah. In so fact, like, actually, let, let's let's throw our hat over the ring. If we were to do a night attack, double toasted uh, uh, version of what we did at South by Southwest, yeah. same venue, still in Austin, so we don't have to make a big travel thing. We save some money there. Uh, maybe in the Reddit thread, people could start uh, uh, figuring out what a, what a good time would be for that. Make yeah. it the Thursday before it kicks off. Uh, well, like, no, no, no. I'm saying like, totally like, apart from South by, like, oh, yeah. like, like later this, this summer yeah. or okay. something. Don't, don't, no, I would don't do South by, man. But if you know, if you guys would have this, that'd be awesome. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. If, oh, we, no, if no. we would uh, have you, I feel like, like, I feel like it's all right. right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it doing a South by because okay. you're not gonna make you're not gonna make your money like you want well, to. Let's do it. Let's do it late summer when everyone's still out from school. Maybe right before school starts, uh, a bunch of fans. Well, see, coming if you do that, then what we can do is, I mean, it's a joint thing. Let's make some money. Yeah, I'm about my money. God damn it. No, no, no. I think because like, what we could do is we could sell tickets. We could like you know make this a thing where we sell out the place between both the, the both of us. Man, we would sell yeah, like out we the could place. Do it. All right, yeah. done. Matter of fact, late summer was, was when we would always do a big anniversary party. Oh, that's right. And we weren't doing one this year. Yeah. 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 So man, we could do one in August, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, look, I God worked your damn, anniversary. Damn, man, don't make me work I, I your ass. Sp- Spill <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys, you guys, you guys booked Del the Funky Homo Sapien for Spillcon. That was the same show you, where was, you opened up for. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah that's and a few unreal. years later, his his uh, his 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 uh, manager, who's not his manager anymore, said, "Hey, man, come on down." Uh, I want to holler at you, and Dell be good. He'll be happy to see you, man. And I was like, got my wife up, and we're like, all right, let's go see him, man. And we got there, and I went to the back. He's like, he's back there, and I was like, Dell, what's going on, man? Corey, you did a show, man. He's like, cool. Oh no! All right, man. Talk to you later. And I'm like, <laughs> oh no! You motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those like you don't want to fly too close to the sun. Was- and the, oh, he no, but that's another thing. He was high, and I can't really talk about him because you mean that. Uh, let me tell you something, man. At that show, um, because I went upstairs. I mean, well, fuck that, mother. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, went, I mean, I they, up, in, like, in, we sang together on stage. Yes. In, <laughs> in Dell's defense, he had just seen a fight on cable access and called yeah. the cops. So. <laughs> you know what? Okay, but wait, that's one thing, fucked up shit for a man. <laughs> He's like, I can't take this shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, I tell you, I tell you what, what it would have been. It would have actually had a not. It wouldn't have been a big deal had he just done the show. It would have been like, all right, just a business transaction, cool. Yeah. But I took him back to his hotel after the show, and he kept me in the car for an hour and a half talking about his life and his son. And you know, I was like, well, that's you, cool. You, man. you felt like, like you guys had really bonded. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. To everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that known? Is <laughs> that like a known <laughs> thing that Dell <laughs> Del will keep you in his car? Think for an about hour it. And it's like, if somebody famous just suddenly opens up to you. Don't feel special. It's like that's their that's their <laughs> shtick. And now, now I feel bad for every person I've opened up to. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember half y'all's name. Exactly. Exactly. I think, about, I think about that people will come in the studio and I'll go like, "Damn, I recognize him." But hey, hey, man, nice to meet you. Oh, we met. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah, we talked. We had a heart to heart conversation for three hours. Yeah. and I'm like, I think, Shit, I, I, you're probably right. And I, I still I, don't I remember. Think, you. I think this was a Brian thing. I was actually at a at a, a thing for the Frog Pants Network uh, <laughs> last weekend, and there was somebody that uh, was like uh, Wendy, who's the sister of the guy who runs it, and so she's on the same shows. Fan comes up and says. Like, oh, my God, I love your stuff. I just wanted to come up and say hi. And she's like, oh, great. Nice to meet you. And even before it happens, I'm like, oh, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. You never, ever, 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 ever say nice to meet you. It's always great seeing you. It's great to see you. Great seeing you is the only way. Because, you. number one, we never know who you are. That is true, man. None of us. Just too many faces. Too many times. By the way. Too much booze. Too many drugs. Like, it it just, you can't make face the to name. Fun fact, I violated my own rule two hours ago when when Mia shows up with Corey and I (laughs) shake Corey's hand and I said, I was like, hey, have we met before? (laughs) Because uh, that's a softer version, but not as good as it's good to see you and then wait. But then but what's what's great is that starts a cascade because uh uh, Mia's got a different haircut. Uh and 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 so uh we're hanging out like what's going on? And 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 Corey's like, well, you know, lots changed, you know. I've gotten married since uh, you last saw me. And I was like, oh, shit. 
man, that's a that's a, that's a rocky road. <laughs> that, <laughs> Corey in his dating life, that's up and down. Okay, I'm like, oh, well, tell me more. And he goes on to describe it, and I was like, yeah, that's when I last saw you was at your wedding. Now, there you go. If I don't know this motherfucker over here, I don't. <laughs> And I've known him for years. Well, well, at least he wasn't like, well, I'm glad you dumped that bitch and got with this yeah. other girl right here. <laughs> yeah. And he's Dead like, weight. Jeez, <laughs> am I right? Well, he practically did say that. He's like, he's like, he's like, man, you done been with so many hoes, I can't tell him no I mean, did, did he not? He just said, but you, you, you in your dating life, it's been kind of crazy. And he's saying, plus you got new hair, so you could have been <laughs> Now I threw you under the bus on my podcast. <laughs> now let's go do a he live show. Then he looked at her like he looked at the face real close. Had, have we met before? <laughs> yeah, my fucking wedding. <laughs> that was your one opening, but you walked right past it, and both of us played the dummy. <laughs> yeah, we, just, we sure did. We didn't uh, know shit about each other. Oh, what what happened to that homely girl you used to date? Yeah. Uh, I married her. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, you really <laughs> traded up. <laughs> Ah, damn, man, you get divorced. I love this new chick you got. <laughs> and that's my daughter. <laughs> that's my daughter. Oh, shit, man. Uh, she so got any friends? Uh, <laughs> nah, man. When we at that show, I went upstairs, and because we were just hanging out. I'm like, well, shit, you know, we're here. We enjoy the show. Talked to the manager a little bit, hung out. And uh, I was upstairs, and this, uh, and this girl sitting next to me, she's like, you want to hit? And uh, is that like, the Dell show? Is that the Dell, Dell show? show? At first, yeah. I was like, maybe I shouldn't. But then I looked at her and I was like, well, you're pregnant and it's not hurting you. <laughs> 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 you met as a pregnant woman passing. She took a, a wait, pregnant wait, woman wait, smoking. See, a- oh, that's the wrong thing, right? Because the only type of people who are going to be pregnant and smoking are going to be like on much harder stuff, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> making much poorer decisions. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. already crossed that <laughs> Rubicon. Yeah. Yeah. God yeah. knows what lies beyond. I mean, if she if if, if she d- it puts this in the hands of her child, <laughs> yeah, then it can't be that bad. And I took I, I took a hit for probably a couple. And you remember you had to. You had to wounded warrior me down the steps. <laughs> Holy shit. And like she carried me down like a Vietnam vet and shit that was wounded. And yeah, I had to go home and sleep that off. She's you putting know? in call for air fire. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you die on me. <laughs> we're all going home. Yeah. <laughs> we're all going to be laughing about this when we're back home. <laughs> Tell my you stay girl with I love me, goddamn you. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm glad to. I, no, here's the thing, man. I'm very happy for you. Not, but nothing is nothing is normal with this guy. Like I hadn't seen him in years. He's asked me to come over and, and uh, you know do the show. And, I, and the moment I get out, I, I'm thinking that we was gonna sit down and have have a beer and catch up. And of course, with his crazy ass, like I say, nothing's normal. He's like, "Hey man, let me show you this 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 cult compound that I'm building." <laughs> and let me get out there. He's like, "I hope you don't mind going through the woods." <laughs> <So he's> like, <laughs> that was the, that's the one moment that is a leap of faith. It's one that you're like, "Oh well, this is a very it looks like there's a lot of potential here. Definitely an overgrown oh, former <laughs> cult nudist colony." And it's like, "Hey, let's go into the woods." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man. He's hiking because he did it with me when it was pl- pitch black. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. see shit. And it's like, hey, come on, you want to walk into the woods? And I'm like, as a black man, I feel like <laughs> everything is telling me to say no to no. this. Yeah. But, but now, were, were you there when we actually looked up and saw the International Space Station? Were you there for that? I, uh, or I, I think that was the group right before. No. Uh, but you, you heard all the frogs, yeah, though. Fuck those space stations. Space stations. Yeah, yeah, what? No, they, they break it out. <laughs> man, you see the mail? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. You don't take me back, right? <laughs> it's Thor. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, folks. You can go ahead and support this show by going to patreon.com slash night attack. Patreon.com slash night attack. I'm not in this country right now at the time that you're watching this, but the hustle we have for you, our patrons, has brought me down to Austin so we could do this show for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supports us. Patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, so, so what are you guys working on right now? In, anything new on the horizon? New, new gigs coming up? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What, what, what's about? the next live show? Toronto, May twenty fifth. Uh, before that, on May eighteenth, a week before, we're going to be doing the Schmodown live, uh, doing the Schmodown trivia. They invite us over there to do that. After we call them some bitches, and then uh, <laughs> and that's out in L.A., right? That's, no, 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 Texas City. Oh, yeah. oh, just, oh just they're, outside they're of Booker oh, T wow. Arena. God damn. Uh, oh, oh, wow. It, it, the, the word arena sounds very impressive. Yeah, it's a wrestling ring that it, they're it, doing it, it. It's a wrestling ring at a strip mall. 
<laughs> he does like wrestling uh, Man, lessons. Half and half. <laughs> Still net positive. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, it's next to like a billiards uh, a pool. Oh, joint wait. You mean Booker yeah. D the wrestler? Yes. Booker D the wrestler. Oh, gotcha. I thought it was like, like Booker D like Washington. Washington. It's like this. No. 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 <laughs> Yeah, no. we're, we're gonna use Pim well, I don't know where the fuck this, this shit is in Texas. You're, You're the wrestling no, guy. In Toronto. No, no, no. In Toronto. It's five time, five time, five time, five time, five time, Booker T. Yeah. Oh. That, how, how do you guys pick where the Next bench- to the Martin Luther King nail salon. <laughs> I don't know how shit goes down in Texas City. <laughs> oh, across the street. <laughs> no, That's the Harriet Tubman yeah. soul food joint. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you, it's a little pricey in the George Washington Carver parking garage, but, you know, you can get free parking after six. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, doing L.A., uh, I want to do a birthday show in L.A., so we might do a comedy show in L.A., uh, but if we do our thing in August, man, I want to make sure that we get that going so I can we can do that right, here, yeah, no, here yeah, in yeah, Austin, no, no, man. No, no, Let's we, lock we, that we, one we, in. We, we, will, we will figure that out. Uh, there is something that we were talking about with Martin, or I was talking about with Martin before we started the show, that I do want to investigate. Oh, one, one thing. Do you want this last one? Uh, no, you grab it. Are right. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, Okay, true yeah. story. I'm surprised this is happening because I bought these other beers. I don't know if I told you this. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I was supposed to be right behind uh, uh, Corey and Justin, and uh, I showed up seven minutes behind everybody because as I'm driving back, I projected forward in the future, and I was like, I'm going to offer Martin a beer, yeah. and he's going to ask what I have, and I'm going to say I have Shiner Light Blonde, and that's it. And I pictured your withering gaze, <laughs> and I decided I would rather be late. So disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> and so I pulled over and got IPA. So meanwhile, yeah, Brian, Brian's well, switching like Doctor Strange. Well, well, like. <laughs> <laughs> and there was only one scenario. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one that. scenario. And that's me pulling beers. Over. Yeah. <laughs> now, no, the only reason I'm asking about this one because you only brought one of these up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I actually brought these for you, but, but you were... Here, uh, actually, yeah, you, do, you want, do you want to do another? I can, I can set yeah, up here, this with Martin here. Yeah, you set this up. I'll, yeah. I'll do it right Okay. Uh, so, Martin, uh, we were talking about uh, how long you guys have been reviewing movies. and Yes, yeah, uh, been a little over 20 years. And so uh, it goes back so far that Tuesdays have always been... The reason why you guys oh, aren't right. on all the time mm. is because Tuesdays are hell for the screeners. Because there's always a movie screening, mm -hmm. and that's like the time that you have to go see it. Because it's airing early, and you guys can yeah, write Every so often on Mondays... Often on, on Wednesdays, but almost always on Tuesdays. But the, the, the hallmark of how far back it goes <laughs> is Martin <laughs> said bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> that it had been how long uh, you had never seen the I, full completed I, version I, of what sitcom? I, I did not see the last three or four epi uh, seasons of Frasier. Seasons? Uh, until, of it was, Frasier. Until, it was on, <laughs> it, until it was in syndication because it came on Tuesday nights and we were always busy Tuesday nights. <laughs> and that was before they were DVRs. Bryce, can you look up for me when <laughs> Frasier's final uh, uh, episode was just so we can get a context here. Uh, but Thanks, from that came this. Ah. Yes, we talked about uh, the song he would sing at the end. Uh, Toss salad, Toss salad and scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. And I said that he would cut a new one for every show. Every episode? Yes, because I could notice how <laughs> this one he's singing a little different. The emphasis is a little bit changed from last week's. Hold on. <laughs> You're saying this is a conspiracy theory that, that you have? No, no, well, no. Just to turn it into a conspiracy the truth. theory. It is the truth that Martin knows. Martin knows that in every I'm, episode... That, that I do uh, Kelsey that Grammer sings Toss Salad and Scrambled Eggs in a unique version per episode. Now, now really? it, it, is, it is likely there'd be some week when he couldn't do it and they might play an old one, but they were never the same week to week. Uh, oh my, uh, it seems like somebody could over... Where did you hear... Uh, this is your own theory? This is or? my own ear. My, yeah. my own ear could, could detect that, okay, this, this is a little bit different than it was last week and the week before. Uh, you know what's funny is like uh, on Pendulette's podcast, he was talking about how he's listened to the same Dylan song uh, like like for decades, and and he thinks legitimately that he had like a minor aneurysm because he hears it and it's plain to him that that it's a different edit that that, that the highs and lows and mids or something yeah, are messed yeah. up, and he's like he's like I, I the only way I can explain it because it's very unlikely that Spotify has secretly replaced all of the the <laughs> versions of it with a different one, and so he so uh, 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 go to a doctor. <laughs> 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 this is the earliest warning sign, and it's been around for 20 years. Look, Bryce, wait, wait, wait. When, when was the last episode? 
The last episode was in May 13, 2004. Wow. Okay. 2004. Oh. Uh, uh, and is there anything, can you ne- like look in the Wikipedia here, can uh, we get any clarity on whether or not Kelsey Grammer sang an, a unique version I'm sure of Toss Salads and Scrambled Egg? Who cares? <laughs> uh, uh, n- Grammer recorded several variations of the final spoken line of the theme, which were rotated for each of the episodes. For each of the episodes. So there was a small pool of, I guess, the final lines of tossed salads and scrambled eggs. And so that would be the, they're calling again. (laughs) Ha ha! Ho ho! Gee whiz! (laughs) Hot damn! Hot yeah! Martin never goes to prison, you got his theme song. (laughs) (laughs) Tall salad and scrambled eggs. (laughs) <laughs> That's him. He's singing it as, as he's like dragging the cup down along the bars. Yeah, you know, my, the, the, yeah, the scrambled eggs scrambled are my payment for yeah. tossing the salads. That's right. <laughs> Maybe I hear the blues are calling. <laughs> salad and scrambled eggs. Me was a white man behind <laughs> Dinner's ready. Yeah. <laughs> In breakfast. Yeah. How, many, yeah. how many, yeah. many more of these I got to sing? I'm your Niles now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what else is going on? <laughs> well, I, I, let me let me say something, man. Uh, like I said, man, this guy right here probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for his his inspiration, his his uh, pep talk that he gave so me. We created him, and he created us. Yes, That's right. Yeah. It's a time paradox. The snake yeah. eating its but own tail. Just wanted to say uh, congratulations on everything that you have going on, man. You, you know, I mean, you know, your words were. A true inspiration, but just seeing what you what you have done and what you're doing. Every time I like see, here's the thing. Every time I see you, man, I walk away with uh, you know just a, a new fire inside of me. I'm not bullshit. This ain't funny. Stop laughing, God I, damn. I, I'm legitimately the Tony Robbins of podcasting. Like I, I love. He'll tell you, man. More. If I need some, if I need some advice, yeah. I will call him and I'll ask him. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. After all these years, I as a friend, yes. you know, somebody who's really helped me, I've called you for advice several times. I never know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <What's wrong with laughs> you, you, you talk so fast. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm confused when I get oh, off the no, phone. Oh, no, no, no. There's things with him where uh, we've talked about this on the show. Yeah, go. That Brian speaks in like three sentences worth of riddles before. Always you know metaphors. What the fuck Always metaphors. It's, yeah. So it'll be like, like I'll, I'll, I'll get a call and he's like, uh, all right. Ah, um, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 fuck. Uh, all right. So, uh, 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 Hunter in a field, and uh, uh, he sees just uh, two of uh, uh, things of a rabbit, and you're like, oh my god. All right. Well, maybe it's a rabbit. Maybe it's uh, uh, two snakes. It's actually the sun's getting low, and it might be two snakes dancing because you can hear music in the back. Or, 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 or. <laughs> Or four in the future. Four in the future. They're all in hologram outfits. And next thing you know, it's my same third grade teacher who says, Brian, it's time for dinner. I never got dinner with my third grade teacher. So anyway, uh, Penny's going to private school. <laughs> and then it was all done. He's like, so yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know if that helped. Yeah. But... <laughs> But, but but thanks for asking. I'm just, and my mom like, fuck, no, I ain't help, no, I ain't But no, man, thank you. Man, I, I, I just lied. I was like, no, man, really, that was very, that was very good, man. I, no, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking put a bullet in my goddamn ears. <laughs> It was actually funny. So we're friends with uh, this other podcast, Ice Cream Social, and uh, they were, they're going to do a comedy album this year. And so they came to us and they're like, hey, uh, I want uh, – uh, like, what is your like playbook for how to like do and promote a comedy album? And so Brian and I both get the same email, and both of us send emails <laughs> like within about an hour of each other. And mine is like very like A to B. Like – Record here, set these Patreon goals, release at this point. Use this like, tool. Use this Make tool. sure that this guy's going to tell you this. Don't listen to him. Yeah, You're going to yeah. want to do this. Talk to this. U- URLs. Like, you know, just very, like, matter of fact. And Brian's like, it's all about the story. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he goes, and, this, and it's all very, it's, like, it, 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 yeah, it is, my, it is mine two is sides. Like, You're standing on a hilltop. You yeah. look around. There are 75 <laughs> villagers, and you say, there's gold on the horizon. <laughs> a whisper goes through the crowd. <laughs> they need to be motivated. They need to know why they should leave. What is possible? You have mighty, mighty powers. We need this. <laughs> and I'm like, so go to cdbaby.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, at least you sent them an answer, man. I mean, that time I asked you, I said, 
I'm trying to get this part of my business monetization up. What do you think? And you just sent me back a formula. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You sent me back a math hey, equation. Man, <laughs> if you can solve this riddle, yeah, you can, <laughs> the world will be yours. <laughs> Along with like hieroglyphics and shit. I'm like, what's <laughs> And at the end, you decode it. It says, "Drink your oval tea." Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "I can't make it any clearer." Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll have to rectify that. <laughs> no, you've actually yeah. been there. No, both of you. I was asking. I was talking to you in the car, Justin. Yeah. Yep. You know, bo- both you guys. Uh, tell you something, man. If you. Uh, if, 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 if you really want to sit back if and you're learn, standing on a hilltop you stand on this, <laughs> and you see two <laughs> rabbit ears yeah exactly if you stand on a hilltop and you see two rabbits fucking <laughs> followed by x over y equals or, z or 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 or, or. <laughs> how about this <laughs> two on the nose <laughs> I'm a, I'm a walking roast ready to happen. I know. I, I didn't understand to do the roast of Brian Brushwood. Everyone's, everyone's too, too cowed by your cult compound. We're like, we need to take this fucker down a couple of Yeah, right? No, there's been times I've just, Brian's been like, and I just put on. Y'all think I'll have the Alfredo? <laughs> uh, yeah, dessert sounds fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, still I'm going. Gonna, I'm, 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 <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, man, you, both you guys, you ever want to learn from, uh, see how people, because now, you know, podcasting and streaming and online uh, has become a legit thing. So, uh, well, these, and, and, and also, this is, I think, uh, the four of us are unique in that, like, we're making our own money. Like we're yeah. not getting network money. We're not getting money from some other. Like Verizon can can collapse, and a lot of people who are yeah. making a lot of money yeah. will be out of jobs in podcasting. S- s- same not thing. for us. No, no. We, well, that's why we, I ask we, you will, about... we will soldier on. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's why I ask you about the subscription model that we have. I'm like, yeah. you know, it's something I'm very scared to give up because not only is it hard to make a transition from you know uh, doing something that's free, but also you know what are you going to do with your paying people? But I got to tell you, man, it's, it's really nice to have an area where no one is telling you what you can play yeah. say uh, or do yeah and, and even uh you know do you guys run ads are you guys uh, do you guys take ads I'll tell you on uh youtube we have a youtube partner uh okay so they they but, sell but, ads so, on your demo so for, for youtube we got somebody but, that but, takes but, care yeah, of us yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. on our end uh no, no you're, yeah. you're not doing any uh uh, uh bespoke uh uh, live reads well, or whatever. There's a free l- tier that we're thinking about playing with, but that's not perfected yet. Sure, because but not, but not because now. Ad block. That, yeah. So literally, you no, guys so can say no. fucking anything. Like you guys yeah. can do anything. And that's the same with us. Well, and and that's one of the wild things. Like even reading about the ad apocalypse on YouTube as it was happening, I was just like, eh, all right. Uh, so instead of seven dollars, I get six dollars. <laughs> like, well, yeah. yeah. YouTube yeah. ads were making garbage money anyway. See, half my. See that's that's a, that's different from me because I my money I pay myself through YouTube. YouTube is my life. Uh, oh, so so you got your, uh, the uh, business uh, is taken care of by the by the, the contributors by the, yeah, by, by, the, the subs, by the subs yeah. by the subs. I just go ahead and just take my money from YouTube. And uh, so yeah, when you when that apocalypse happened, yeah. uh, I was looking <laughs> at her. I was, yeah, I, I lost I lost thousands. Wow, I lost really? thousands in a month. And uh, yeah, I was, <clears throat> shit, I was about to fire your ass. <laughs> <laughs> My money doesn't come from you. Yeah, I was going to say, what? Martin gets fucking tumbled. No, I wouldn't have fired anybody, but like people got paid. Uh, And from the, you know, my business, people got paid and I didn't. I had to take that hit. Yeah. So that's, but uh, fortunately, we, and see, that's the weird thing because I see the difference. Like on our site, you know, we could do whatever we wanted to do. We get to say whatever we want to say. We, I didn't realize this. We cussed so much that YouTube said, you know what? Say fuck again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> say, you. say it, say yeah. it, say it one yeah. more time. Say like, more I, I, time. you ain't getting this money. You yeah. know, they, yeah, we got. Because by the way, I'll put this crest ad on a dog party. <laughs> Don't make me. Don't make me fucking put this uh, this, this, this listerine ad fucking somewhere else. <laughs> Well, so, yeah. I, I guess uh, 
that's one thing. Uh, I, I don't know how into the weeds on your business model we want to get into, but man, I would love to see you guys on Twitch uh, because Twitch is, has so much outreach and interaction between the channels and all that stuff. It's It's been a lot of fun to kind of... We, we, lately, we've made a game of um, uh, having more uh, Twitch superstars joining us. And it, yeah. you know that synergy really does make a difference. And, and, and I don't know who's doing movies. I, I don't know if movies is even like staked out right now. Is it mostly video games? It's mostly, yeah, video mostly, games. mostly video games. Uh, there's, I mean, really long form content is kind of king, and that's where you guys would actually probably do a lot better <laughs> we than the we longest. do. Longest, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just wouldn't. because, like, there's only so much that Brian and I are together in a room, right. Live, you guys are always together mm. in a room live for well, many, many hours like, at a time. At some point, I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm, I was giving you shit, Brian, but no, you've given me some great advice over the years. That's why I always call you sometimes. I tried to bother you, sure, but every now and then I just like, okay, I don't know what else to do. Let me call Brushwood over <laughs> here. It's yeah. like, yeah. like grab the red phone. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I need Schwartz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I need Schwartz and four translators. Yeah, <laughs> just, just four. yeah. <laughs> Corey, Corey, Corey looks down at the balance sheet, scratches his chin, is like, "Ah, oh, shit, man, I, I am on a hill looking down at seventy-five villagers. I need to call Brian. <laughs> shit, I need four just to say I don't fucking know what he said. <laughs> but, but no, nah, man. Uh, I, I, if I felt like at any moment, at any time, I could, you know, I could offer our our content for you know for free and go to Twitch without disrupting anything that we're doing and losing our home. Then yeah, you know, do, do, I would do, do you that. Ever, do you ever do like a like a I, I don't know a way to pull your fans and just say like I, I guess you could throw up like a survey monkey or something and say like uh, here are a bunch of crazy things none of which are currently being planned uh, <laughs> or, uh, or even thought about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. but here they are, are in loaded. specific detail. <laughs> which yeah. do you like? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, uh, of course they're gonna be like, yeah, man, I'll take it free, and then they'll, you know, and then something happen where they won't show up or. You that know, is that. a scary leap because you guys have built an awesome, awesome clubhouse. That uh, I, mean, I think yeah, you, you guys will always have a paywall. Like, there's always going to be a reason why, like that you guys, yeah, yeah that, that, that you are making subscribers pay. happy because you already have that. That's the hardest thing that you can ever do is have somebody hand over their credit card to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's like it. That that is what made Amazon. It's what made Apple. Is something, that like which is something people that we never abuse, hardly ever abuse, <laughs> mostly don't abuse. <laughs> we, 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 you know what? Sometimes now that I think abuse. about it, we're not abusing it nearly enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> no, uh, I, yeah, and, and plus I just I see it just being being able to be more loyal to the people that. Yeah, I know. I, I think what, what what you guys should be doing is is just uh, continuing to expose more folks to the thing that you guys do, which is like movie reviews that are unlike any other movie reviews. And and your personalities that are unlike any other personalities. That's that's the beauty of the internet because you guys are uniquely. I mean that Austin cable access scene was internet before it was fucking internet in terms of brand content. Oh my I, god, I, it I totally was. Yeah. We get so many people who are super successful tell us how we were their inspiration. It's like, oh, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm glad we worked out for you. Yeah, <laughs> get, give me some money. Here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. If yeah. only yeah. there was a way for you to balance yeah. those <laughs> scales. Besides a compliment, <laughs> if I was such an inspiration, you know, give me a fee, <laughs> give me royalties. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. What about that? Uh, imagine. Imagine if part of the login for any, let's say, a new, new YouTube comes along, and it's like when you set up your account, you have to say you have to say who are your inspirations, <laughs> and then when they become rocketed, your inspirations get a little taste. No, oh. yeah, yeah, they just show up with their hat in hand, like, hey, inspiration tax, motherfucker. <laughs> like, where they don't even see it, they don't even feel the pain. It's it just like, huh, checks a little light this week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, uh, it turns out my hero bought a car. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun having you on our show, man. Oh yeah, no, that was great. That yeah, was man. great. What's it like to be on Double Toasted? I wouldn't know. Oh no, man, that shit's been open. Yeah, you know, it's been open for you. Open. This is why I'm gonna put his ass on the spot right now. This whole thing he's talking about doing in August. I remember sitting on his porch years ago and I did a show, and he's like, "Hey, listen, we got to do something. We got to do a show together." All right, and he's like, "All right, no, no, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna do this, man. We're gonna do this. I'll call you in a couple of weeks, man." I, you know what? Don't I, say shit. You opened yourself up. He's mad. Yeah, right. he, 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 <laughs> you know, you know, it can get to a point. I can only keep this shit internalized for so long. It's going to come out at some point. That's why I'm like, I, now I got to put out the open because if y'all heard this time, we're going to do this thing. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. I book the shows. Yeah, like Brian like, doesn't book the shows. I book the shows. Brian, but, Brian, but, Brian like, if, unless Brian says, Justin, Corey and I had an idea to do a show. <laughs> you should book it. It's not going to okay, happen. All right. So first week of August, we had something planned that got canceled. 
So we're doing it. So we're doing it. That's a good First time. week of August yeah. in Austin. Because oh, later oh, in August, kids go back to school. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> don't, don't lock anything down. We'll find something out. We'll, we'll in August. Maybe. <laughs> uh Anyway, no, shit, where were we going well, with I'm that? I'm just saying that you guys, I, what I was saying was, I wanted to just, you know, while I'm on camera, I wanted to let it be known and let it be said that not only these guys are an inspiration. I, mean, I was even asking Justin what he does in the car because uh, I really admire these guys, man. I don't get by because I'm stupid. I don't get by without seeing what other people do and, and kind of, you know, at, at least taking some inspiration from that model. I just want to let people know if you're out there and since this, now that people see podcasting, streaming as legitimate things and legitimate businesses, and more people would rather do that. I was talking to an actress that came by, uh, Gail the Snail, Mary Lynn Rashkup from. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From, she, came, yeah. she came by the studio and she was telling me how I'm tired of. I've been in this business for a long time. I'm tired. She, uh, she says, I'm tired of Mr. auditioning. Showcast member. Mr. Showcast member, yeah. 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 She's yeah. like, I'm tired That's of auditioning. I'm tired of people. You know, my, my, I should be doing more, you know. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna start doing my own stuff, and even she's like, "Yeah, I'm, podcasting is one thing I just want to try because I, I like having my freedom." But uh, these guys, you should look at them and see what they yeah, do. But, but that's a really good point because the old the old world, uh, <laughs> 20, 30 years ago, Hollywood system is uh, a, an actor would have a big name. It's like, congratulations, you have a big name. And like, well, what does that pay? You're like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but nowadays, we're seeing people increasingly build their own audiences, building their their, sure. their platform and their ability to you know tell bigger, more interesting stories and figure out a way, you know, when there's an opportunity, like, hey, I have a thing. Well, you're not just having to go and borrow other people's platforms by going yeah. on talk shows, but instead you could talk yeah. to your own folks. Well, I th you know, I look at it and I'm like, uh, there was a time when, I mean, I think, I think even kids feel this way coming up. There was a time when, uh, like, I would love to have millions of dollars, like, you know, uh, anybody else out there and any big actor, but as far as trying to act or make movies or anything like that. Maybe I would want to, you know, as, as a creative endeavor, make a movie or something like that again one day. But it's like, right now, it's almost like, man, I wouldn't, I would never want to be in that whole game of trying to audition against people and do things. I wouldn't trade this shit in for the world right that, now. That man. that whole uh, that whole trying to serve so many masters at once, and it's like, like, uh, uh, it it was. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to talk out of school, but uh, uh, it was very challenging doing the TV show because uh, oh, you would yeah. you would be. I, I was just gonna say that because I feel like you're <clears throat> you're in a position now where like you were through the TV ringer a couple times, which is soul crushing, right? Uh, even if it succeeds, right? Like there's like a million like trials you have to pass, and now you have this awesome uh, you know beyond night attack of course like uh, modern rogue and scam nation that like. Now you have these things that, at, like, I feel like almost refill you enough that you can venture out into this world on your own, on your own terms. Yeah, your right. own terms. <clears throat> yeah. That's just it. Is is uh, when when you are just an actor uh, trying out for a role, you have no leverage, none whatsoever. No. Right? Maybe no, you no, have because, a brand name. You go in. I'm trying to get this job, but there's a thousand guys who look just like you who are also trying to get that job. Right. Well, and and, and you have zero leverage. Mm -hmm. Like that. That that's the biggest thing is that now. You can go to uh, the you know a production company and say, "Hey, I like what you've done. Right? Would you like to partner with me? Right. I'm bringing you the content. Mm -hmm. Like now, you're not talking to the person that's hired to find a guy. Right? You're talking to the people above, and you're like, okay, me and you are power players. Like, let's leverage this thing so we can do something together, as opposed to, oh, I've seen that you're a person. We need people." Congratulations! You're yet another <laughs> expendable tool, yeah. like in our gigantic cog mm. machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So cr crushing dream. I did, land. Can, I, yeah. can I ask you about that? I mean, that's that's very interesting. Uh, just to, you know, both you guys, if you don't mind me, just kind yeah, of yeah, asking yeah. some things sure, like, yeah. uh, especially you, Brian. I mean, you've been you've been like you've been on both sides. Uh, what was that experience like working in TV? Uh, it was really, really, really rough because uh, it, it, because I was smart enough to. Uh, th to not give up my my foot in the YouTube and internet side of things, and there there was one alternate timeline where it's like, well, you're a TV guy now, so why don't you just uh, let that YouTube stuff go away and uh, podcasting? <laughs> yeah. You won't have time for that. <laughs> Move the family to LA and really do what TV people do: get right. out there and audition and, and network. <laughs> 
and so, and so I, I didn't. But nothing. Uh, yes, he, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I was just like, no, it seems like uh, seems like we're on to something here. We just took two properties independent, and Patreon's a thing, and uh, uh, seems like it would be crazy. And so instead, you know, I, I just burned out. I mean, we were working on the TV show six days a week, and then one day a week we would cram three uh, uh, separate podcasts in there yeah. because it was at such a critical time. But uh, that that jet fuel that candle burned very very bright for the one month two months two and a half months and in the middle of that i'm still doing stuff like running out to dragon con and coming back and then mm. uh you know i i i did have to cancel a few uh live shows uh and all of this uh, you know uh, on on the promise of something that i'm well aware might not ever see the light of day or make it uh i'm i'm very in along the way you find yourself at the nexus of so many uh, compromises. It's like, hey, we love you. We love your energy. We want you to say this exactly in your words. Also, standards of practices told us you have to say exactly this paragraph. <laughs> and it's like, uh, here it is. Memorize it in about, oh, five minutes. It'd be great. We're all waiting for you. Just memorize that and nail it in your own voice, if you would. Um, yeah. A lot of those times... Of course, all, all artistic freedom. Like, go, right. yeah, do exactly what you want, but just read every syllable of this, and if any of them are different, we can't use it. Right. Well, also, also, uh, 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 you can dance, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, I went out there and spent the spent a day with Jason Murphy while you guys were doing the the show. Yeah, that's right. And, and he got to tell me about all the different things you guys had set up right up to the moment of getting ready to pull it off when he came and said, "Oh, sorry, we talked to the network. They don't want you to do that." Right. And, uh, how about this instead? Oh, this thing that's the complete opposite. Right. And, and not at all cool that, uh, of what we were going to do. Yeah. Well, and and it's a very tough position to not have the authority to say no. And right. uh, and part of it is wanting to be a team player. And there was a couple times where it was less saying no. It was more saying uh, I can't or you can't or we can't yeah. or we can bother to shoot that, but it will never see the light of day uh -huh. for this very specific reason. <laughs> I understand. It's it's weird what a constant set of negotiations everything is because there's so many different moving parts and all of this is the people that were ultimately trying to please I never met I never met any of the people from the network who bought the show I, I know you know we worked within the team to try to make the things from the emails it sounds yeah. like maybe they wanted and along the way you smell the compromise and you're like you're like that's not gonna yeah, land cause, cause, as hard as it could because by the way the person that was speaking as the voice of the network probably never met the person at the network that was telling you to not do a thing they were proactive actively doing a thing that they thought that uh, the network would want because that person's job right. is to be subservient to the network. And that's the thing about television is that everybody has to touch everything. Well, and, and that's the thing like, is, is what, what you have. That's is, what success is, is I touched it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you have a ladder and uh, uh, the uh, uh, incentives are not aligned, right? So when we make a, a, an episode of Scam Nation, all of our incentives are aligned. Uh, all five of us there on set would like to be able to have lunch as soon as, you know, wrap this and, and have lunch. We also all want it to look good. And so we're all proactively figuring out stuff that we could do. Like, well, is it a better shot this way? Or, oh, if you do that, that's, uh, the, the white balance is going to be off. Uh, and, and, we're, and then we're all thinking of the story beats where it's like, well, I want to do this, this, and that. And they're like, Ah, but there's not enough stakes on that. We're like, what? What are some things we could do? And and that synergistic energy uh, yields. Let's let's call it ninety percent, eighty percent of of the quality of what we were doing in television. Uh, and I'm super super proud of of that material. Um, but it does it at 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 at. At ten percent of the time and money and all that stuff, because when you have an institution like Hollywood, uh, there, uh, if you're the sound designer, and they they say, oh well, we can either fly Brian out to um, record in your booth, or he says he could do it from home, and so uh, he says he's got a good mic, and it's like, well, let's get on it, and they're like, oh, let me record this, record that, and then now, what do you say? You, you're not gonna say. Uh, yeah, sounds fine. It'll be okay. But because then it's like, well, then why aren't we paying for your booth and all that stuff? So you have to say, oh, I'm hearing a bit more in the upper mid level. Oh, could you possibly tweak this? Uh, take this and put it in the corner of like where you're sitting is where I faced the, the egg crate and barked into because the sound guy insisted he could hear this much different. And maybe he did. Maybe, maybe he's a perfectionist. But what you have is this constant battle with every expert, even if they're 100 percent right. They still have to assert their expertise sure. every step of the way. And it's just unbelievably taxing. And ultimately, it just left me emotionally crushed, especially when it came to the end of it, where it came time to promotion. And uh, uh, and and it was like nobody could be bothered to 
give us any tools to help with the promotion. So we're recording our own watch, you know, live streams and all that stuff. Uh, and, and all of which say, I assume all of this is just, just how the Hollywood machine works. And I don't know how, if it would have gone better or whatever, uh, had I moved to LA, but I know that there was this immense sense of relief when the phone didn't ring for a second season, because after all the work we put in on season one and after so much of it, got cut for a billion legitimate reasons. It's hard to write a hundred pages and end up with, you know, 23 of them seeing air yeah. and, uh, and, and not necessarily the, the, the 23 the you were most excited about. Yeah. Right. Um, but again, that, that is not to disparage anything about, uh, the Hollywood system. Uh, it just, it just wasn't for me and, and, uh, it broke me and, and Justin will attest yeah. like, uh, uh, I, I, I took a while to recover and, and get in a good headspace. Uh, well, because it was also for you, the end of that journey. Yes. Like, like it was like, okay. I put a lot of time. I put a lot of effort. I did a lot of test dates. Yeah, it was, I did it was a lot five, of five, five years. Yeah, like, like I, I, I went out there. I did my level best. Like I brought along Murphy. Like it was like everything that you could want from a success. It got picked up against all odds. It it ran, and now <laughs> I have this gigantic compromise thing to show for oh, yeah. five years worth of effort. Not yeah. Sure of yeah. Right. Right. And, and, let me ask you this other question too. So, no, but, I, which, I, which by the way. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That that's a big part why you'll see me aggressively owning our failures on the modern rogue, mm -hmm. like uh, because um, and I understand this in all of reality television. It's like w you can't spend twenty minutes on a thing and then end it with, huh. Oh, well, that didn't work. Like, but you can on YouTube. And so yeah. guess what yeah. I love to do is yeah. 20 minutes of doing shit and of go, eh, what, what can yeah. you do? Well, you know, that's what I'm kind of relates to what I'm about to ask. I mean, be, well, even before YouTube was in existence, you know, even before, the, you know, I mean, back when the Internet was still kind of publicly in its infancy, infancy because uh, when I met you. You were doing your thing, man. You were you you were doing your own shows. You were you know promoting your own act. Yeah, that's um, right. The, the first uh, uh, yeah, I got booked. Um, uh, in fact, the first time I, I met Martin was was after I ate fire with Alex Jones's ex wife, uh, and you were there. Uh, and I was like, hey man, I got this gig at Jazz on Sixth yeah, Street. Yeah, right. And then, yeah, right and, and, Street. and 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 I remember thinking at the time, you're like, oh yeah, I'll try to make it. And I was and and I was like, that was so sweet that he at least said he would try to make it. That's amazing. <laughs> and then and then he showed up and I'm like, oh my god, it's Martin and Corey and Sammy. It's good to meet. Yeah, you, I had Sammy. a date canceled that night. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no, 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 no. Date. <laughs> No, he made a big deal about going to that show. Yeah, uh, like, but, this guy's amazing. But you know, I was thinking, but because I've talked to some people who have done television, who've done you know movies, and uh, you know, some of them have remarked, "Hey, I love the business. I like doing this." Now, some of that is from a while back, but do you think that that makes a difference? Like starting out as someone who is very in independent, almost you know, we'll, we'll just say it, entrepreneurial, and then these other people who were just used to just casting their fate to agents and producers and everybody I, I else think, i think there, there are some people who like getting a paycheck yeah like well, there, and, there, and there 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 is a personality that i don't think is like it's not good or bad it's just one of those personalities that are like hey look i like it when i do it i show up somebody asks me what the things i need to do are i do them i get the money and then i move on no. like, like, like work is not something that i want to spend a lot of mind share on and yes it can be frustrating yeah. and yes i can wish the machine we're better, but I don't. I'm not frustrated enough by it to want to do it myself. Uh, it's going to depend on where you are. If if you're somebody who's booking work all the time, then you're like, yeah, this this works out great. I I think it's awesome. I don't know what everybody else's problem is. If you're not booking and you're struggling, then you might be more like a I hate this, or you might be I hate it now, but one day, but yeah. one day, but one day. Well, but, and, but, and, but 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 I think to your point, yeah, if you come in and you've been doing it yourself and you know how smoothly it can run. And then it gets somewhere where, hey, this is supposed to be where it, it works, and it doesn't. You're like, what am I or, doing? Or or you here? just realize that the that like, the, the, the these steps are not all that hard. Like even like booking like the North Door. It's literally like, oh, send an email to Butch. <laughs> yeah. And then Butch is like, yeah. oh shit, we can do it. It's like, oh, how much? Oh, cool. And then he sends a ridiculous number because it's South by. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I tell you, I don't do South by. 
I, I gotta be honest. One of the reasons why, because I tried to book doing Southwide, and I was like, I would make no money doing yep. this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Uh, Spoiler alert. We made no money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was even after he sent back a ridiculous one, and I'm like, Yeah, sorry, man, can't do it. Uh, uh, the, the the only thing that we could do is this ridiculously low <laughs> ball offer, and he's like, Oh shit, it's still Saturday during the day. <laughs> we'll take that. Well, the funny but thing is, our studio was across the street from the North Door, so we opened it up for South by and packed the place. Oh wow. Yeah. That's yeah. what we would do. Yeah, we would just have people come by for free and promote that way. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, it's just kind of like it's still not, not making money. No, but, it's, but that's it's, but it's free that, but promotion. That's, that's but, it. But that's uh, at the end of the day. Once you realize the mechanics of okay, it's A, B, C. That's what a show really is. Mm-hmm. Is like booking, making sure that they show up, making sure that all the things go okay on the day of. And when you wrap your head around that, then all of a sudden you look at these people that are like, I don't know, maybe this yeah. should be this, maybe this should be that, and you're like. I don't know, but what the fuck do you know? Like wow. I can I can do some of this myself, and either that's television production, that's live events, that's uh, that's like literally like that one line that you step over, and then you become the entrepreneurial person. But I think some people just don't have interest in it, and I don't think it's like a bad thing. It's yeah, just it's not. It, even it, it, it's a personality yeah. type. And even I felt like an asshole then telling you guys don't do South by. I mean that's the only that's the only bit of advice I probably have for you because I'd gone through it because <laughs> yeah. I because I was like every. You know, there are people that I look up to from a from a business sense. Yeah. You know, and uh, being that you guys are some of the closest people that I know who do the same thing, I, you know, you guys have been the ones that I look up to for that. Well, the, uh, if I could uh, put a pin in the Hollywood thing with a, uh, forgive me, a metaphor. Um, uh, <laughs> being a, a mature industry, like like they have all of that shit mapped out. Like we, we were talking to Cargill and he was explaining about the level of granular detail and structure with which the WGA knows how to negotiate. Like, you know, like I'm like... In, in unscripted reality television, there was a moment where they're like, uh, well, why don't we call you a producer? I was like, I, I want to be a co-executive producer, at least. That's what you told me. And <laughs> and then and then because there was no money either way, they're like, yeah, sure, you're co-executive producer, right? Yeah. And, and so yeah. when King I, of the world. Yeah. Like a dick <laughs> on the planet. Whatever. <laughs> right. Well, and, and, and then meanwhile, ta- talking to Cargill, and I was like, I was like, yeah, who cares? Your name is first or second or whatever. He's like, no, 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 no. All of this is mapped out in a highly regimented, you know, very detailed, this determines your paychecks for the rest of your life when if it's a hit for the residuals and all that stuff and it just it feels to me like uh you know being being outside of the system you know i think every all of us here uh somewhere there's a ladder where you can start on the first rung and now you're in the second year oh you were an intern now you're a production assistant oh now now you're a set designer oh now you're doing whatever and then and you have two concerns one it's like uh, ain't nobody gets above me on this ladder, <laughs> and yeah. everybody knows that I belong exactly this high, at least on this ladder. Nice slave talk, by the way. Uh, yo, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody gets above me on no, this God ladder. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it, it came much later than I expected. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. No, yeah. But Pay the over. <laughs> Pay the over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But meanwhile, because we only got a few more minutes in this show, and like that was <laughs> that was way later. But meanwhile, in the world of of live performance and touring and and doing internet stuff, it's like yeah, we want to get as high as we can. But it's like let's just grab this couch, and I bet if we balance this uh, stool on top, and then here, hand me these apple carts, and 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 there's nobody to tell us no. And yes, you might tumble down or whatever. But then like what happened with because. It, uh, the only reason I got the TV show is because we were busy over there creating a ramshackle uh, elevator, I guess. And then, uh, and then, and then, at some point, you jump over on on the the thing, and I'm like, "Well, this sucks. I can't go anywhere." And so, uh, and so now we're now we have a, a bigger, more ridiculous ramshackle, ramshackle elevator. elevator. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, good that's metaphor. Him, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Yeah, and I, then the I, villagers I, show up, and I, then all right. I, I got lost in that metaphor. Yeah, I was gonna say. All right, uh, Corey, what did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he didn't go or 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 or. Man, okay, now, now, now see, this is what I'm talking about. Now, that was good, but y'all know you didn't know half the shit he was talking about. That mother, when he, when he threw an apple cart, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is happening no more. In the ramshackle elevator. In the, ra- yeah, the ramshackle elevator. Like, yeah, okay. Wait, was there, was there an episode with a ramshackle <laughs> elevator that I missed? And now I got I to gotta pretend like I saw that episode, even though I didn't. <laughs> you see how he loses his goddamn mind? He, that, that motherfucker, gets, he, goes to, he goes to Brian World, and you don't know what happened. When you guys no are doing more. your Brian imitation, I wasn't quite sure what you were talking about. I totally get it now. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When he got, like, I, I, I thought I knew what the what the uh, the 
ramshackle elevator. I'm glad you said it because I don't know. But then when he got to the apple cart, I was like, okay, fuck, I'm, I'm out. I don't know what's happening. There's always Stop wood out. involved, though. Yeah, this is, yeah. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hand, hand me another beer. <laughs> no, that's the problem. Don't give him no beer. You guys are with me, right? Uh-uh. <laughs> and then the weasels and the rocky ships <laughs> fly into the dimension of the fourth. And that dog uh, won't hunt. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is I've heard that one so many times I know exactly what it means. <laughs> I'm like fucking Sam in Game of Thrones. Like I'm, I'm writing out in calligraphy all the Brian metaphors. <laughs> and lo, the ramshackle elevator should mean entrepreneurship. Uh, footnote, footnote. <laughs> At the time. <laughs> and then the kids selling newspapers in the corner sold to guinea pigs who will participate in the civil rights march for freedom. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? So, social media and uh, a distributed distribution system that is controlled by the owner. <laughs> And then the turtles fell into the ooze where they were trained by a mutant rat who know karate. That was actually just the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't make sense to me before now. Uh, you holy you shit. motherfuckers. So this is the classic move of all of you motherfuckers. You all be like, but no, but, but open up, open up, no, tell me what you really are. We're like, ha ha, he's doing it again. See, you fell for that yeah. shit, man. <laughs> you know, I say, how am I going to get him get to talk every about every time. Classic. How, classic. Am gonna, how am I going to get like, to prove what I'm talking about? With Brian? <laughs> Brian, please, tell me more about your business. Well, yeah, you well, see, man, <laughs> man, when you're fucking the apple carts in the mountains. <laughs> Why did he go Cosby? I don't know. <laughs> Why did he not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. hey man, that's a, man, that's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, man, man that's some like crazy that. trash. Appreciate that is some crazy <laughs> trash. It's gonna take a few years to process, but uh, <laughs> when it happens, I'm gonna use it. We'll figure it out. All right, uh, so so we're locked on a live show, though, right? We're gonna do a live okay. show in Austin this year. Okay, done. Now, did you look it up? Uh, yeah, no. First week in August is not great. Oh, uh, is it not? Yeah, because I got I got a uh, a conference and then one day and then another conference. All so right. uh, we'll we'll figure we'll, something. We'll we'll figure it out all the time that we're not. Yeah. I'm here. trying to lock yeah. this shit down on camera <laughs> hey. so that y'all can hear. Like oh no no no! Probably Again, I know that later just talk August, to me. Yeah, yeah. I will get, get I will make it happen. <laughs> yes. It's like don't yeah, worry about you, it. You you guys say we would like to book a show and he goes like one moment. He walks over to Brian and he's like he's like all right, you're in a space station. <laughs> you see your Solaris chart and you realize that autumnal is upon us. <laughs> would the would the second or fourth quadrant be more preferable? Man, what do you think I should do to monetize my business? Project yourself at your body. It's <laughs> all around upon you as you that's, stand glowing. That, that, that's oh, actually oh, shockingly close. Or, that's, or, <laughs> or, 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 and now you'll become either rock, <laughs> rock, like thing, right? Or you'll be invisible, like Susan or invisible. Okay, or you can stretch. Don't overstretch different. yourself. Oh, don't overstretch. Oh. Never overstretch. Oh. Never overstretch. Stretch appropriately. Oh, yeah. Build a rocket ship. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll set yourself on fire. Blast into space where there's radiation. Fly through it. Come back to Earth, and then you can stretch your potential. Do you understand the fuck I'm talking about? No, bro. Like, this is making perfect fucking sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm finally, like, these motherfuckers like, are talking like a sense. Preach, like, motherfucker. Oh, so, so you guys, you, you do get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad this is a breakthrough moment, man. All you gotta do is take yourself to the astral planes out of 17 million realities. Just pick that one where you see yourself a winner. <laughs> Did you just say Infinity Wars, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, shit. All right, guys, uh, doubledosted.com, right? Yep, yes, yeah. sir. Super uh, easy. Uh, what is, uh, and are you on social media? Can people find you there? Yes. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just type in Double Toasted for all of that. We're also on Twitch. We Twitch stream, which is where I'm about to leave to right now. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, we, that is uh, every now, just today. Is every We just started with this. Got a good guy to do it with Chris Herman. We, uh, that's every... Excuse me, I'm burping up beer. Every Thursday and Saturday. Now. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and DoubleToasted.com. Check us out there. Martin, wait, you know, you want them to reach you somewhere? Oh, yeah. You, if you need to reach me, I'm at Martin underscore no fro. <laughs> if you need on... to reach me, I'm 512. <laughs> 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 Call me. <laughs> I know you're lonely. Um, yeah, on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, uh, Martin underscore no fro, or do a search for Martin Thomas on Facebook. And we have a group called the Children of the Toast. Uh, yeah, right on, man. Uh, and, and, and let me say, because you guys were very complimentary throughout this episode, uh, the Double Dose community and uh, the Spill community that came before it is one of the rare, especially now that we're like further <coughs> into... This internet stuff. I don't. I actually can't think of another community that is as old as yours. That See, like the has old like shit. I knew that has was been, coming up. No, 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 no. For this reason. For this reason. Everything on the internet goes sour at some point. Right. All empires fall. Okay. Yeah. Yours has maintained. You guys and, and I, I don't know if, if if it can even be expressed into the 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 void in the way that we know that like we've watched people that were like they had heroes. And then they wanted to tear them down just as fast. You guys have maintained an amazing community that's not toxic, that is filled with awesome people. Uh, many of my favorite awesome fucking people have come from your community. Uh, uh, it is amazing what you guys have done, and you deserve all the credit in the world for well, building they it. They deserve all Thank the credit. You. And I tell you, the, the community, of course, without your, your community, you don't succeed. Yeah. And as much as we – listen, i tell you what really does it. Don't be afraid to every now and then tell somebody in your community, man, fuck you. you know? <laughs> oh, that's true. That's no, true. No. That's true. We, 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 look, we love each other and we fight with each other. And like people, real friends. Yeah, like real friends. And they don't go anywhere. Like, I get into arguments with people all the time and they don't pull that thing like, man, I ain't, I ain't, I'm leaving then. You know, yeah. that, no, they, they, you know, either I say I'm sorry or they say they're sorry and we make up and we, we're tight. We're still good. That's the thing, though, is that your online persona, this is something that Ryan Connolly told me back in the day, is that, like, your on online persona is, like, not afraid to bust balls or, like, call people <laughs> on some shit, right? I have an abrasive online persona, and uh, our buddy Ryan Connolly, who does Film Riot, was like, ah, you're so smart. And I'm like, what? It's like, like, you just tell people to go fuck themselves, like, on the show. And that means that when you do it to them, off like when you do it to them on social media, they're not like, oh, oh, my yeah. life is ruined. They're like, oh shit, I got told to go fuck myself yeah, by, yeah. by Corey Coleman. That shit's dope. I should also correct my behavior, <laughs> but I also have, a, I also have a fun little memento. Man, look, we built, we we built a business around roasting people. That's yeah. you know that's. We do it with like like you know a good percentage of our comedy shows are made up of that you know we do that on the air. I got I mean I roasted a guy just a few weeks ago for online saying something crazy. And, yeah, and, roasted him for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, Jesus. only for the guy to get on and say, "Hey, you kind of misinterpreted what I said." <laughs> I don't think I did, but <laughs> He's like, hey, by the way, this fifteen minutes of content says I got it right. <laughs> but yes, and then you know what he said? Hey, man, I'm sorry. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm sorry. We good? Yeah, no, we good. I apologize. Yeah, we good. We we good. We, we got to get it out of the system, man. Hospital now, but he said he was sorry. So I spent all, all day, the last two days on Facebook cussing motherfuckers out. You know, I just. <laughs> That's, you know, it happens, you gotta man. You got to get off Facebook. That's yeah. bad for yourself. But I do. I mean, see, I'm, yeah. I have to get on there because I'm trying to be more interactive. When I get on there, boy, y'all just... No, not, not no. Facebook. Facebook's uh -oh. dead to me. Uh, they, they are rough, man. They, do, they no, don't fucking not get it. Everybody wants to argue. See, see, I don't have the, as big a problem with Facebook as I do with Twitter because people get fired from Twitter shit. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's true. Uh, people get fired from Facebook shit, too. But but so often it's some what somebody wrote on Twitter and I'm telling you it's equal because I've seen so many times where somebody said and they scrub their Facebook page but this random user had screen captured everything before well, they did no, so. No, no, well, no, Twitter they no, get 140 characters so uh, they, they don't get enough time to really say what they mean and it, sometimes they say what they mean and they get fired. No, and sometimes, yeah, you're right. And sometimes it, it gets yeah it gets cut off and they get fired because nobody really understood exactly you know what the joke was. Out of that? On Facebook, they're like, and another thing. Oh, no, no. no, no. On Facebook, when it happens, it's like, yeah, no, you deserve that shit. Oh, yeah. There's, there's no ambiguity saying. here. Well, because also on, 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 on Facebook, the dumb shit is like 14 paragraphs, yes. right? It's yes. like, yeah. so you it's know, clear. Like it's a whole goddamn manifesto. On, on Twitter, it's like, you know who I hate? Blank. And then it's like, oh, shit, canceled, canceled, yep, canceled, no. retweeted. No, what I meant to say was, <laughs> it was like, uh, yeah, and it's already, it's out of the bar. It's too late yeah. now. Hey, man. I gotta tell you, I gotta take off in a little bit. I'm having so much fun. I'm usually. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're up we're, against our heart. We're five minutes past our heart. Oh, oh shit. All right, here, let's, let's wrap I'm it up. Out. Play, play, play the lullaby. Play I'm the lullaby. Out.
Uh, uh, what did we learn today, man? Oh, man. Well, we learned that uh, uh, when you're up on a hill and you see 75 <laughs> villagers, that you should express yourself from your inner being that uh, uh, makes its way out into the world. The apple cart That's right. And don't forget the apple cart. <laughs> uh, we learned in the Ram Shack elevator. elevator, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we learned we learned that uh, uh, the oldest friendships are among the best. Uh, I can't believe that uh, that has been what 20, 25 years now. Yeah. Uh, wow. uh, we learned that Corey's taking a FaceTime <laughs> <laughs> in the final moments of the episode. Yeah, we, we learned that six forty-five means six forty-five, motherfucker. Hey man, <laughs> no, whether, whether I'm on air or not, excuse uh, me. Look, we, we I'm, lo- off, we, I'm off duty now. <laughs> we, we love you guys. Die to fire. See you next Tuesday. I get so sad <laughs> I'm finished. that no. I want to drink a warm it. glass <laughs> of Drano. <laughs> night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>